Hello. We come from a city whose peripheries uh, grew during the industrialization era. Those peripheries, like many other cities in Europe, are widely affected by environmental and social decline. What happens is that municipalities traditionally take action by erasing the problem and building something new. With Mirarti project, our engagement has been to try to look at some of those issues in a different way, considering them as resources for the city. So this is Mirarti's story. The internal migration during the second half of 20th centuries caused the expansion of the suburban areas of the main industrial European cities. In that period, many migrants, formerly farmers, start to occupy and cultivate unmanaged areas all along the peripheries, creating dense agglomerations of illegal allotment gardens. Nowadays, a lot of, the, a lot of these illegal allotment gardens are still included in the urban sprawl, mainly uh, on public soil, where the municipality didn't take action. Those areas present many environmental and social issues due to the total lack of regulations. Decline with accumulation of improper materials, social isolation, inaccessibility by other citizens. We are presenting you the case of Mirafiori's allotments. Mirafiori is an ex working class neighborhood in the south of Turin, and it is known for the first and largest car industrial plant built by Fiat cars. Uh, in that suburb alone, there are more than 1,000 illegal allotments yet, since almost 60 years. In 2010, the municipality proposed a standard intervention for the regeneration of the allotments area through their demolition and removal. That intervention would have erased the peculiar identity of that area. So what could have happened? The municipality needed to restore the area, but the gardeners stood against it in order to keep their activity that is highly valued by them. At the same time, the citizens were asking the area to be turned into a public park. So that situation, that dynamic, led, uh, would have led to a conflict, a situation difficult to be handled by the municipality. In that context, Miraorti takes up the challenge of combining the environmental restoration of the area with an innovative participatory process. We proposed a self-restore allotment district to be managed by a local private board thanks to an agreement with the administration. The key words are involving using human local resources, making the environmental restoration a real opportunity for local development. What changes in this new dynamic? The gardener gains the continuity of use while their activity is regularized. The municipality restores the area thanks to the gardener's contribution in labor, which also means saving money for them. And the local citizens have access to a new agricultural park. So this is, that dynamic leads to a win-to-win -win outcome. And in this way, the environmental and social benefits are guaranteed. But what is most important, these benefits would be sustainable. This model is three times sustainable environmentally through the sustainable use of soil and resources like water and uh, through the organic production. Then, socially, because of inclusion, giving the gardeners a positive role and giving, the citizen, and giving accessibility to citizens to this new park. And economically, because the area would be self-sustainable and its maintenance wouldn't cost to the municipality, still keeping its public functions. So how can we get all that? We already achieved four steps of the implementation process. The first step was the action research. We spent two years on field uh, experimenting the restoration and the cultivation of allotments among the others, involving schools in educational activities, organizing events in participation with citizens, and of course, communicating every action to the community. That period was very important because it fostered relations and trust between stakeholders. The second step was the social analysis. In order to evaluate the internal potential of change, we made inquiries to the citizens about their interest in urban agriculture activities, and we questioned each gardener in order to assess 
their effective inclination toward change and their will to take part in the transformation process. The step three was the transformation project. It means that uh, the, trans the planning of the new scenario starts from the information of the previous phases. That means that the project is specifically built on the local situation. And the last step was the economic feasibility study. Starting from the available budget and resources already at the disposal of the municipality, we estimated the initial investment to be covered by a private board in order to reach to complete the overall cost of the transformation of the area. Then a five-year business plan show the, the, the sustainability of the investment and of the, of the management of the area. Why choosing Mirorti model? Mirorti model leads to many environmental and social benefits, combining social business with welfare improvement. Moreover, what makes it attractive is its convenience. The participatory transformation brings 60% of savings for the municipality compared to a standard intervention. It brings management costs to zero and creates new employment. To lead a complex process, a very unique team with uh, very high skills is necessary. Maybe not that much, <laughs> but an expert in local development strategies, a landscape architect, an environmental agronomist, and a sociologist compose Miraorti team. The great welcome Miraorti received by local administration and media gave us an important feedback on the value of the project and of the team. Finally, illegal allotments are not a specificity of Miraorti, of Mirafiori, sorry. In Italy alone, there are more than 35,000 illegal allotments covering 1,200 hectares. One hectare is 10,000 square meters. And yeah, sorry, no, I'm an agronomist, but I don't know. Most like, and concerning most likely 70,000 gardeners. Mirorti next step must be the realization of this intervention in order to give birth to see new transformation processes elsewhere. Thank you for your help. Thanks. Thank you, Thank you very much.